What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and I'm actually in Elkar, Indiana right now for this RV open house event where every manufacturer has all their brand new 2023 models on display. Super excited that Keystone helped get me in the door here as, I mean, this is really an event that's for dealers to place their orders on new 2023 models. And I don't know that there's another salesperson here at this event. There may be somewhere out and about, but definitely one of the few of any out here that is just a salesperson getting to make videos. So this is something that I'm really grateful for Keystone for allowing me to come and do to get videos of these. And this here is a dual suite Outback travel trailer. So really excited about this. This is something really interesting. Definitely curious on your thoughts about this because this is a brand new concept for them. And it really plays off the success of the Avalanche 390 DS, but in a travel trailer. Let's go take a look. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. I'm really excited to announce that thanks to my father-in-law and really a full family effort, we now have 100% Spanish speaking RV tour videos online. So whether it's YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, if you just search RVs con Luis, you're going to find his pages there where you can follow him or subscribe to his channels. And they're gonna be a lot of the same videos that I normally post. They're just going to have Spanish dialogue on them. So we're really excited about this. Go check out those pages. You can find the links down below in the description of the video to those as well. And like, follow, and subscribe and share with your friends and family. All right, y'all, so this is a 2023 Keystone Outback 343DB. And this is my first time getting to see this floor plan here. You'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs here on this little display that they got right there. So you can see all of the different specs on there and the floor plan layout as well as some of the different features here. Um, see if there's anything that's really changed, not too much. Um, the flush floor main slide, definitely nice. Uh, industry's only seven point auto leveling system. So we'll talk about that more here. Obviously having the second bedroom with a king bed. So this gives you two king beds and then handicapped accessible entry. I'm guessing that's gonna have to do with the width of the entry door here. So that's pretty impressive as well. But this is definitely a big travel trailer. I'm gonna rival something like even like a destination trailer or something along those lines as it is very big. And starting up front, you're gonna have a full one piece fiberglass front cap here. So you have that really nice front cap. They put this coating on here that's kind of this rock guard there that's painted on. Looks really nice. That's all one piece, um, which is gonna get you in really something only you find in the more premium travel trailers, which is certainly what this Outback is. You have two 30 pound propane bottles up here and then this seven point auto leveling system. Really, really impressive, nothing else out there has this seven point auto leveling system that I know of and definitely nothing else that I carry. So that's going to include the tongue jack in the auto leveling. Then you have your two jacks up front, two right behind the axles, and then two more right off the rear bumper, all as a part of your auto leveling system. Now, every single 2023 Keystone RV is now coming with 200 amp hour lithium batteries here. So these are 200 amp hour lithium batteries from Dragonfly and you have the tankless on-demand water heater across the board now with Keystone RVs. Now Outback already had a tankless water heater for 2022 models so that's nothing new for the Outback model but that is something that you still have in here as well obviously and then this one here is shown with the 400 watt solar system which is going to come with two 220 watt solar panels up on the roof. Now you have the lithium batteries to accompany that and then when you look at the pass-through storage compartment here you can see you have the 30 amp solar charge controller down underneath here. You have your inverter underneath here as well as part of that 400 watt solar system to power some of your outlets in there. And then look at this, this is actually something pretty interesting unrelated to the trailer itself. But if you come down underneath here, Furion has this flat 
power cord now, which that's interesting. I don't know if this is something that it'll be coming with, but they have it in here. So that's something where they got these little brochures here where you have this flat RV power cord from Furion. So that's kind of interesting there seeing that you have your AC inverter prep. So if you are wanting to expand upon the solar system and run an AC off of solar, your inverter prep there to add an inverter to power one AC off of the solar system is already in place there. And you can see on this slide or on this side, you have three slide outs. This is a wardrobe slide out, living room slide out, bedroom slide out, and you will have some storage underneath the bed there in that slide out. Now at this event that we're at, there are a lot of different dealers and people here looking at these different RVs and I don't want to get in anybody's way or anything like that. Definitely want to stay out of their way as this event is much more for them than it is for me. So don't want to get in the way of anybody. And I think we have some people that are currently looking inside this trailer. So I'll wait for them to get out, make sure there's nothing else that I missed on the outside out here. As we're going around, show you around the back side of the trailer. You have your 50 amp power connection back here where the bumper is at. And then you do have storage in your rear bumper. Getting down underneath here, you are going to have an enclosed underbelly. So all your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in that enclosed underbelly there. So whenever you run your furnace, you are going to be getting heat in that same cavity where your water tanks and water lines are so that they don't freeze. And you will have 12 volt electric heat pads on your water tanks in Outback models as well. So that is something where you have, if you're towing down the road, and you're not gonna be running your furnace, you could still keep your water tanks from freezing if there are water in those tanks with those 12 volt heat pads. I would get up on the roof, but they had these RVs very close to each other, but you can see you have two Coleman Mott Q series ACs and your solar panels up there as well. And that is pretty much everything on the outside. So as soon as I get a chance to step inside, we will go take a look at the inside here. All right, y'all, so as we go inside of this model, again, this is the 343 DB from Outback with the 400 watt solar package. Has that Arctic barrier, so you have the heated and insulated for cold weather camping with those 12 volt heat pads on your water tank. You can see right when we walk in, actually, where your tank heater switches are. All your controls are gonna be right here, plus your controls for the tankless water heater. And then immediately to the right, you have this big king size bed, north to south facing king size bed with the storage up overhead and your wardrobe slide out. Plus it has a sliding pocket door here. So this entry into here is absolutely huge. This is where I think some of this wheelchair accessible option helps as well, because you can easily fit, you know, like a wheelchair through these doors with how wide they are. So really love that king size bed again. And then you have, of course, the pet kennel underneath here that we've seen in many of the Outback models. And then that storage underneath the bed, all strut assisted. In addition to that, you have your bedside tables on each side, outlets and USB ports. And then this is pretty much straight up and down here. So you could easily sit up against that wall there. If you put a TV on this wall, it can watch the TV and don't have that uncomfortable seating position. Coming here, you have some shelving here in the wardrobe slide out. You got your curtain rod all the way across. And you have storage up above this area. This is going to be unobstructed all the way through. So that'll go to the other side. Magnet latches on all of your cabinets here as well. So in addition to that, you have the nice big window, two AC vents in this area and a barreled ceiling for a really tall ceiling height. Definitely plenty of room in here for comfort. And then going out into your kitchen and living area, you're going to have the two recliner seats here. This has their cloth furniture option here. They also have a tan leather kind of furniture option or that synthetic leather. And then you have your TV right here. This is something I can already see that's gonna be a little difficult with a floor plan in a travel trailer like this. Obviously you don't have your TV directly across from your recliners here. So that is something where we can see if this will swivel out. Let's pull this out. Okay, actually not too bad. Oh yeah, I could easily live with that right there. Um, so that's something that's not too bad to me actually, but from this other seat, if you're leaning back, it is gonna cut off a little bit of the TV there. So that is something that just to keep in mind with this model that you'll be looking at, um, obviously with my reviews here and everything, I try to really just give you an honest impression on these RVs, even though these are RVs that I sell and I am in a sales position. Just wanna make sure you know exactly what you're looking at there with this kind of setup. But this is a big 50 inch screen TV here. And I'm curious because this currently has the Jensen 
TV on it, but I've seen these come in with the TCL Roku Smart TV, the Outback models that is. Um, so I'm curious if that's how this will be. This, they might be coming with that TCL Roku Smart TV. Um, this just might not be in this particular model we're in here filming. Storage all throughout here, up above your TV as well. You have your fireplace that will put out heat and then all your sound controls with that Jensen audio system. Recliners are super comfortable here. This cloth furniture, I'm a big fan of it. Um, it looks really nice, feels really nice. The cloth is not gonna be as um, subject to heat up with the heat and things like that, like a leather will. And then you have your dinette table here that is mounted to the sidewall. So it's a legless dinette table. If you wanted to take this table out and put something else here, it does just unscrew from the wall. And then it actually has a leaf that goes in the middle portion here that's underneath the bed that when this slides out, you can put that leaf there. Pull down blackout shades on all of your windows. So you'll have those all the way around. And then as we turn to the other side, you're going to have your whole kitchen set up here where you'll have four drawers that pull out right there. And then trash can here. This will flip up. You have additional countertop space from that. Stainless steel sink, really nice black industrial looking faucet. Three burner Furion stove with the flip up glass cover there for your countertop space and a bigger oven in here. Up above, you do have a wine rack over the microwave. Your microwave without a turntable in it. So it uses that diamond wave technology so it doesn't need a turntable. And then you have your storage up above here. And then coming here to the microwave, this is a 12 volt GE refrigerator. Did I just say coming to the microwave? Coming to the refrigerator, you have this 12 volt GE refrigerator there and then a pantry space next to it. But this is just one of two pantry spaces here. So you have all of that shelving there. And then across from here, you also have more pantry space across from the bathroom. Should have taken off my backpack. I keep bumping into things with the big old bulky backpack behind me. But you have nice big pantry space there as well. So two pantries in this model. Again, barreled ceiling is gonna give you like a six, seven, six, eight ceiling height. With your AC in the ceiling as well, this is gonna have the residential air filter in it with the Coleman Mach AC system. Do have a spot for a Wi-Fi router in here as well. And you have a vent fan, or not a vent fan, sorry, just a vent opening here above the kitchen and a vent outside of the trailer here with this low profile vent fan above your stove. Your AC ducting, it is gonna have the blade AC vents in it here. So this has that 360 degree um, airflow that comes out of here, really efficient system that you get from Keystone with this. And that is something that we're still seeing in the 23s. Nice big sliding door here to the restroom, nice big opening into this restroom as well. And the restroom space looks really, really nice in here. Have your rectangular shower in here. A lot of the Outbacks were used to seeing a corner shower, but you get a rectangular shower in here. And because of that barreled ceiling, still gonna get lots of ceiling height in the bathroom there, should have a ceiling height for at least about six, four to six, six in that area. Coming back to the other bedroom, you have another king bed here. Again, really wide entrance here into the bedroom. And then coming back here, you have a king bed here with your storage up above it and you flip this up and you have more storage underneath the bed here, another pet kennel underneath here, and you have storage access from outside on the other side of that wall there. So you get the king size bed, nice window on the back wall, plus window on the camp side, and then your wardrobe storage space back in here as well. Some additional drawers that you get, those will all be the same size there, all three. And then you have another three here as well. Outlets and USB ports on this or on this table side area. A uh, spot for a TV up on the wall here. So if you did want to install a TV and then you have your second AC in this area here with your AC vents there. And that's pretty much everything in this area. You do have outlets on that side of the bed and it looks like just that side of the bed. Let me get down underneath here, make sure I didn't miss anything. Do have a little bit of slip of storage space down underneath there, but yeah, just outlet. Oh, there it is, outlet up here. I was like, surely they have an outlet on the other side as well, but you have an outlet up there on the ceiling as well. And then that is everything back in this second bedroom. So two king beds in here in this Outback trailer. So really, really unique. You also have the Hyperdeck flooring in here. So that is going to be the flooring that is about this thick under there with polypropylene and fiberglass layers. 
as well as a two pound condensed block foam layer there. So really nice flooring, no wooden materials, way more lightweight than wood and much more solid that probably uh, the polypropylene layer, much more firm and dense than wood as well. So a lot of really good stuff going on with that. I'm um, trying to make sure I didn't miss anything too important as I try to go through these a little bit faster in an event like this, but I want to make sure I didn't miss any of the stuff that you really want to know. If you have more questions, let me know down below in the comments. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscription, if, or that subscription button if you haven't already. If you have any additional questions or comments, let me know down below in the comment section. And then if you are interested in this RV, I am in a sales position. I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. This is a 2023 model. It might take us three to six months to get one in. I don't know. But if you want to place a deposit on one to get one of the first ones in the country secured, we can make that happen for you. So go down to the first link down below in the description. You will find my RV inquiry link where if you select the Mesquite location, you will be able to leave me your contact info so I can get in touch with you. Just let me know what RV it was that you saw that you were looking for. And I'd love to personally help you out in making this RV yours. So if you are interested in that, go down to the link down below in the description. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.